New welcome back everyone in this new life development video about building an auto battle game. In this video we're going to keep on building our um, actor pooler system. So I think we just need to check out what are the errors popping to know what's going on there. So if we had hit plus and go to the combat phase we have nothing whereas we should have something and it's throwing errors. But first let's just check if it's throwing errors when we don't do that so we don't have errors there and what if we put a knight there and exit we don't have errors as well so it seems like errors are indeed coming from the fact that th we are going into the combat phase so if we do this we're going to have errors and to limit our tests we're going only to play in one player so we are adding a knight there hitting hitting plus oh yeah we can't do this because we are not the right amount of players so we have to check in multiplayer so what are the errors combat units Temp pool units combat unit is pending kill. So I guess they are falling in the gr uh, they might be falling in the ground. Yeah, I guess that's that's one of the reasons why it's not working. So we're not going to to activate the floating pawn movement and we're going to see if we have the same kind of errors so they are still pending kill and I guess that's enable gravity, we don't want to enable gravity I guess maybe that's the reason why it's not working So I don't see other reason why it should not create the create the unit and we it will throw error. If we open up our greed, mm, I guess we want the fight zone. We're not even overriding the spawn unit logic, so yeah, we're checking here if it's replicating, but we don't want to do this here first off. And in there. We're going to close a bit of the stuff we opened up and we're going to compile the grid and we're going to keep the grid and the actor puller. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should have kept the error. Developer tool, message log. So, what does it say? when we try to use the actor it's actually we're gonna check if we put the pull location to like 50 here if we're still gonna have the errors oh what oh yeah they registered to that to these squares So yeah, I guess we want to do something like where where that is. Mil uh one hundred and minus one hundred. We'll just set this for now. Like this. They did not record to this. And did they die? Okay, they still I is pending kill. This means the actor was destroyed. And that's maybe because of the of the um, replication data we p we set. Replicates net update frequency, net call distance 
what if we said they are always relevant we'll we'll remove this afterwards we don't want them to be always relevant not at all so we still have the errors so one way or another they are being destroyed we'll remove this and we'll look we'll be we'll be looking for destroy actor so we're destroying all the combat unit when the combat phase finishes and I guess the problem comes from this oh yeah we don't have any yeah, yeah, yeah of course we don't have errors because I didn't drop a unit oh yeah and now we have units and their movement is replicated indeed and we also have the units there and this was the error we had regarding the color of the units so when the combat phase finishes what do we want to do with combat units we don't want to destroy them uh, for now I guess we'll see if we can do it this way set unit state we want to make them go back to the pooled state like this we'll see how it behaves if we add these units hit plus and we don't have the units anymore over there, over there. and if we go back to the battlefield Oh, we still have the footman of the client, but we don't have the units of the player. So that's one of the bug we have, ap apparently. And what if the client moves this? We have two footmen, whereas we, we shouldn't have, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's still the errors regarding the color, so it doesn't matter. So where are we regarding the actor pulling? So I guess it's working on the side of the reg uh, regular units. We can check by opening up our bench and telling the system that we want more units. Actually we'll do something real funny. We'll do something like... like this we'll want five units and we'll want to met a literal name which is which is going to be a function which is going to be pure and make random random name like this and we want of course we want them to be located properly and in the random name we want to get data table row names we want to grab the units we want to grab a copy of the row names and we want a random integer from the, the zero to the last index like this and if we hit play players are going to have different units so it called it called it once whereas I wanted to call it I don't know if that's gonna change the res the outcome I think it is yeah it is so that guy has a bunch of stuff and that guy has another Mage, Wolf, Rider and Grunt, Knight and Warrior and now we are back to the game 
if we go to the base uh, to the battlefield we're, we're still having the units there and here here as well that's because when we when we pull them back here we are hiding them where well this should be working we we shouldn't see them anymore oh yeah of course we need to do this so if i put an archer here oh i have default oh yeah i can i can we can randomly draw default unit so if I go back to the combat phase, oh, we still have units there, but we don't here. That's because that's because the events we just pulled here. This is only being triggered on the server, and we don't want that. We want this to be triggered everywhere we want to be pulling them so if they are being pulled yeah we want to do everything we were doing so if we go to combat phase go back to normal phase and go on the battlefield too it's empty and we're pretty much happy about that so I guess the first steps in our debugging, I the first steps of our actual puller are done. We can move on to fixing the other bugs regarding uh, the unit and name and team color. So it's going to wrap up that video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.